So let's say that you're on a job search and you see an opportunity you're really excited about. What next? First of all, set aside a couple hours because you're going to really focus on this one and make sure your presentation to this organization is top notch. Next, it's time to analyze the job description. You could print out the description, grab a highlighter pen, and start highlighting all the qualifications, highlighting all the adjectives that describe the kind of candidate that they're looking for, highlight the computer skills you might need, highlight the words that they use to describe this job. Because you're going to use those words in your cover letter and in your resume. So I hope you're getting my meaning here. No more cookie cutter resumes go out from you. No more. If you're going to send out a resume, if you're going to take the time to send it, make it absolutely specialized and tailored to the specific job that you're going for. My background, the type of job that I might look for, is as a training manager. If the job description says that they're looking for an instructor, and it's a job I'm really qualified for, at the top of my resume, I'm looking for work as an instructor. I use their language. If the position requires a sparkling presentational style, I might use the word sparkling in my cover letter, because it's true. I really think that there's a time in life to be subtle, and there's a time in life to be absolutely overt, absolutely on the nose. Be on the nose.